In the last video, we had a look at the filters and velocity sections of the articulator. In this video, we are going to continue our look at the articulators with the envelope and LFO sections. Just as with the velocity control, envelope and LFO controls can be applied to modulate or alter the pan, volume, cut resonance, and speed values. Again, in this example, I will create an envelope to control the volume in order to create a gating effect. The loop I have loaded has each region being sent to articulator 1. So to begin, I will need to enable the envelope. The next thing I need to do is to create a second point on the envelope. Without at least two points, the envelope will do nothing. I'm going to click on the lower right corner of the graph. Because the length of my envelope is quite long, this envelope has no effect on the loop. To make it shorter, I can use the decay control. As I bring it down, you can hear the beats of the loop become choppy as the envelope is starting to take effect. The envelope will start decreasing the volume evenly as soon as the region is played. If you want to ensure that your peaks are left untouched and that the decrease of the volume did not begin till after the transients, then you can create another point so that the decrease occurs after the region was triggered instead of instantly. Now this decrease sounds a little choppy as the volume drops rather quickly. So what I will do is adjust the anchor point to smooth out the curve so that the volume reduces gradually. Remember the envelope curve can be applied to more than just the volume. Use it to create some interesting effects with the pan. Okay, so now that we have a nice envelope curve, let's have a look at modulating the region with the LFO curve. The curves you may guess work in the same manner as the other curves we have looked at thus far, except that you will be using the curves to draw an LFO generated waveform. Again here I'm going to modulate the volume of the loop. You see that the waveform by default is a straight line, meaning no modulation is being applied. The first point will set the depth of the waveform. Next, adjusting the speed, you will turn the waveform from a stationary state to an active state. The further I turn this, the more the waveform you can see. I will adjust the speed till the waveform matches my loop. This is just for demonstration purposes of course. You can create any type of wave that best suits your project. Use the tension control to alter the shape of the waveform. The skew control will also allow you to contour the waveform shape. Use the pulse width to control the width of the peaks in the waveform. Now this example is a bit extreme. To make it more subtle, I will reduce the depth of the waveform. In this video, we learn how to use envelope curves as well as work and create LFO waveforms for modulation. In the next video, we'll look further into the modulation with the Mod X and Mod Y controls.